Hey everyone! As you all know, in recent events, um, I've had a bit of an accident and basically signed off work with an injury until I'm able to go back. Um, and it basically means that I can't really work on anything, to be honest. So I'm definitely through the worst of it now. It's been a few weeks now. Um, but I am sort of still resting and not anywhere near as sort of active as I, I normally am. Um, however, I do kind of go on my daily walks um, just to keep my body active and kind of it's my form of rehab effect effectively um, to try and get myself back to the strength that I was before. I'm obviously editing a little bit as well whilst I'm at home um, and able to sort of sit down and not focus too hard on things. Um, and. Editing is something that I'm able to do a little bit here and there. Ben's down the boat today and I am going to go and join him. Just going to go say hi. The sun is out um, and I need to de deliver some SD cards that he left here. And his water bottle because he doesn't drink enough. So um, I'm going to take a little wander down to the marina. I'm a bit slow because I'm a bit sore. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd take you with me. So when I get to the boat, I won't be able to get up the ladder. <laughs> However, I'm just going to go and uh, say hi to Ben and give him some bits and yeah. Ooh. Pain is real. It's actually so warm today. That's the only good thing about being off work and injured is because I can, I can walk. That's pretty much what I can do, just very slowly. Um, it's just so nice that the sun's out. I can actually just stick a bit of sun and yeah, that makes me feel happy because you know, sun makes everything better. <laughs> Before we start the day, there's one thing I have to do. We love the look of these panels, um, so we've just gone and picked some up from B&Q. I think this looks really smart, I'm really happy with this. It's just decorative, like it's just these panels are just going to be screwed in, I'm not going to glue them in, that way um, we can just take them down at any minute and we can go back to using the bulkhead as our um, main decoration. I'm gonna have a massive tidy now. This is the big thing. We've got family over. I want to show them the progress so far. So I'm gonna have a big old tidy, put everything back together, have a good old clean. It's also really good for me as well because at the moment everything is just everywhere. So this way I know where everything is again. All the tools are back in their home and all the wood's away. And it just means that I've got a nice fresh start when I come in tomorrow as well. So I don't have to keep dotting around. Like I'm doing like five different jobs at once at the moment and everything's out to do with it. So I just need to go back to focusing on one job at a time keep my head clear and just get through it. Okay, I'll tell you what, there is not much of a better feeling than coming down to the boat the day after a really big clear up and tidy, because I almost forgot that I did it and then I just opened the companionway, I came down, I looked inside and I just saw what our boat's gonna look like and that was incredible. It just feels so spacey, so it just feels wonderful. Now. Rubbish day today, raining, cold, windy, so indoor work today. So today's going to be a lot of cutting. Now I need to cut out the hatches for the lockers, I'm going to do that. I need to cut out access behind the sofas uh, on both sides, I need to cut out hatches in the galley. So I'm just going to set up a little workstation in here and I'm just going to cut wood all day until well, it's dinner time, really. Yeah.
This is our wood burner and we couldn't be more happy with it. It is perfect. It's completely customised to a design that we spec'd. Um, a guy called Simon out in the Peak District, we got in touch with him after seeing some of the stoves that he made on Instagram and we just got in touch and then this is what's come of that conversation. It is so diddy, it's so cute and it's just perfect for us. So now, even though it is probably 25 degrees outside, it is sweltering hot today, um, I am going to be working on this. Now we have a surround, we did have a surround made for it. Simon made us a steel surround to mount it on. Ellie and I discussed the steel and after we mounted it on the bulkhead to see what it looked like, we didn't actually think that it fit in with what our design was going to be. So although we did ask Simon to make that and he did a really good job of it, we don't think it's going to fit with the aesthetic we're going for. So I've gone to the shop and I've bought some fireboard. So this is fireboard. This is what we're going to make the surround out of. It's fibre cement construction board and it's made to be tiled over and we just think that we can get a fitting pattern to go on here. We've bought some tiles to mess around with so we think with the tiles, with this board and all the air gaps around it, it's going to make it perfectly safe. There's no combustible um, material around it. Um, Ellie's calling me. Hello Ellie. That didn't work. How do I do? How do I call her back? Let's go on here. This is Constant battery. Sorry, I didn't answer you hang up on me. I didn't hang up on you, I hit answer and it didn't and you went away. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Sure. I've got it on video, mate, I can prove it. <laughs> Effectively dinner is is kind of ready. I just like we just need to like cook prawns, so that takes seconds yeah. really, so uh -huh. I'm kind of whatever you want to come back. Is that okay? <coughs> oh. Did that answer your question? Love you, bye. Sorry about that before I was rudely interrupted. So I'm going to do a little work on that. As you just heard, I have to leave for dinner in an hour. So I better get cracking. Okay, I've come as far as I can go on the back end plate for the wood burning stove. My grinding disc for the stone has run out. It's completely blunt and just shredded, so I can't use that anymore. It's just not safe to use it anymore, so I need to go get another one of those. I'll try and get that this afternoon, but I'm just gonna pause this for now and just move on to one of the many other jobs we've got. Um, I do wanna cut in the wood panel behind where the wood burner's gonna be, so we can move on to that. That'll be a good place to start, so let's do that. Okay, so what we're going to do here, this is where the wood burner is going to go and I've got a walnut acoustic panel that's going to go here, just like I've got the other side. I do need to cut in around these very weird angles, like nothing's on a right angle unfortunately, there's lots of round corners and everything. So what I've done, I've just put a base layer of cardboard down so I can transfer this onto the acoustic panel so that I know that all my shapes are going to be in the right place and everything. Um, this panel cost me 100 quid, so if I mess this up, that's just 100 quid. There'll be no, I'll be able to salvage it. This has to look good, um, otherwise it's gonna look rubbish. That might be obvious, but that's the truth. So I've done this here, this fits snug. Let's see how we get on. Nervous, very nervous. So I've traced the cardboard cut out onto the panel, so now I need to cut it. So wish me luck. the fire surround. I couldn't quite finish this piece here because the stone disc I'm using has completely shriveled. That's like half the size it was when I bought it and I only bought one because I'm an idiot. Um, so I'm really looking forward to getting that done. Um, that's I think that looks absolutely incredible. I don't know about you. Um, and I've also done this. Look at that. Uh, I'll be honest, I'm really chuffed with it. <laughs> it looks so good. It's not massively perfect, like right in the corner up there. I, I can fill that in with some black bits. Um, I've got another batten that's gonna go in here. I just need to cut it in so when it hits down here, it goes at the same angle as that bit down there. And then I'm envisaging it, envisaging it will go all the way around here and maybe on the dead space of this bulkhead as well to be discussed. Um, and then the same with this side, it looks good. I know, I know what you're thinking. 
This is the staples came out the other side because where I cut it. So I just need to staple these two back in. I screwed it in, so I'll leave that for now and do that later. But that's cut in quite nice. Again, these little black felty bits just need to be tidied up and cut away. Um, but other than that, it, these cuts are really nice and they fit really, really good. Um, really snug. Um, so yeah, let me just go back again. You can see it in all its glory. I think that looks really nice. Uh, and I'm super tough with it.